Hello everyone and welcome to My Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. EJ's Deadly Laments, Ava's Secret Truth and Harris' Most Memorable Case. Days of Our Lives Spoilers Recap for Tuesday, October 17, uncovers that Talia Tracker ran into Beauty Brady outside the bar and figured out Sean Brady passed on town to be close to family as well as get the assistance he wanted. Since Beauty was keeping close by, she pushed Talia to simply avoid her. Jada Tracker found Talia crying just after the experience and needed to defy Beauty for being brutal, however Talia advised her to let it be. After Jaina proposed things would get better in time, Talia conceded she chose to get back to California. Jada attempted to work Talia out of her choice, however Talia's brain was made up. At the Salon PD, Harris Michaels made a pitch to Rafe Hernandez, Galen Gearing, for a task since he went to the police foundation before he entered the military and had the important abilities. Rafe raised how Harris hijacked John Dark and Steve Johnson, yet he was simply giving Harris trouble. Despite the fact that Rafe needed to get endorsement from the city hall leader before it had become official, he consented to enlist Harris and implied about having a first case as a main priority for him. In the interim, Ava Vitali talked with Clyde Weston via telephone and got directions to come visit him at Statesville immediately. When Ava let Trip Johnson know that she had something to deal with, she took off in a rush. Next on Tuesday's Days episode, Ava met with Clyde and requested to know why he pursued her child. Clyde clarified that it was only an admonition, yet Trip was a goner in the event that Ava didn't do what he inquired. Clyde made sense of that he was good to go on pushing ahead with the drug domain, which he believed E.J. Demira should take off his influence. It was Clyde who ensured Susan Banks was on ice with Edmund Peace, Adam Kane, while he gathered together financial backers. When the time had come to really involve Susan as influence over EJ, Ava messed up things by acting the hero. Nonetheless, Clyde called attention to that Ava had experience running the Philly crowd, so he felt sure that she could have EJ's spot. Ava demanded she was going straight and would find a real line of work all things considered, so Clyde referenced that he had associations at the bistro and could get her a situation there. Ava's friends and family would be oblivious, yet her fundamental work would be working for Clyde. Despite the fact that Ava clearly didn't have any desire to run Clyde's medication domain, she understood he'd take Tripp's life in the event that she didn't collaborate. Clyde felt this was the start of a productive fellowship and appeared to be satisfied over pushing Ava into a tight spot. Back at Tripp's place, he got refreshes from Wendy Shin after her excursion from the joblessness office. Trip proposed perhaps Wendy could look for work with Ava since she likewise required a task. Wendy likewise found Trip's arm injury when he pulled back in torment at a certain point, so she was unglued about the person going after him nevertheless being out there. In spite of the fact that Wendy dreaded the man could return, Trip behaved like it was only some arbitrary addict and wasn't stressed in any way. In the town square, Harris found Ava looking pushed, yet she guaranteed him that she was fine. When Harris conceded Rafe recruited him at the Salon PD, he referenced that previously had his most memorable task. Harris said that Rafe believed him should figure out who conveyed Susan to Edmund, so Ava looked disrupted since she definitely knew reality. At the bar again on Tuesday's DOOL show, Rafe joined Jada and Talia as they arranged to bid farewell. Talia had her bag and would be getting the last trip out this evening. Jada imparted a sweet second to Talia, who cried and at last left for the air terminal. Rafe gave his all to comfort Jada over Talia's takeoff and recommended she could return sometime in the future. In the recreation area on Tuesday's Days episode, Chad Demira thought about the amount he missed Abigail Demira and considered how Clyde lived with himself after what he did. At the manor later, EJ support Chad since he recalled that it was Abigail's birthday. Chad attempted to zero in on the uplifting news about Susan's endurance, however EJ recognized Chad's torment and detested that Abigail didn't be able to return home as well. After EJ wished he'd taken out Clyde whenever he got the opportunity, Chad grinned a little and conceded he wouldn't fret hearing that. EJ likewise said it was a disgrace that Beauty and Sean appeared before they could polish Clyde off. After EJ added that would have been fun watching Clyde drain out in the burial ground, 
Chad gestured in understanding. Back at Statesville on Tuesday's Days episode, Clyde laughed at himself over his arrangements, sorting out all things considered. Days of our lives spoilers say there's considerably more Clyde show to come, so remain tuned. EJ in harm's way, Clyde puts out a hit. Days of our lives spoilers and updates bother EJ DeMiro will be in peril Clyde Weston could put out a hit now that his influence over EJ is gone. Clyde has proactively coerced Ava Vitali, Tamara Braun, into running his medications outwardly, and the last thing he wants is EJ betraying him of what he knows. Days of our lives spoilers. Retribution is the situation. Retribution is the situation for Clyde, as well as ensuring nobody realizes he'd shot EJ when he was the one moving medications for him. EJ never believes that medication managing data should get out, it could in a real sense ruin his life EJ is a legal counselor now and has a child on the way or so he thinks. Clyde might be in Statesville for life for the homicide of Abigail Demera at any rate yet he has faithful colleagues outwardly who'll do his offering. EJ has his own contacts and that is plain, taking into account he employed one to kill Ava while she was still in Bayview, yet she and Harris Michaels tracked down his mom. The one thing Susan Banks couldn't recollect is who took her from the lower part of the precipice to London and dropped her off with Edmund Scrap. D-O-O-L spoilers, self-security. Another explanation Clyde needs to take out EJ is for the straightforward explanation his mom could recall who took her from the lower part of the bluff that was Clyde. If EJ somehow happened to find out, he could send off a precautionary strike inside the jail, reaching one of his partners within to finish the work. The two men have vindictive, misleading sides and both have a side that is fringe sociopathic, particularly Clyde, however EJ's come very close to. EJ Demira may be fortunate. EJ doesn't understand that Ray Fernandez is watching out for him, not really for individual reasons, but rather for police observation. He very well could be fortunate that Rafe has a tail on him, since in such a case that Clyde's arranged a hit, the police tail could stake his life. Shockingly better, that tail could end up Harris, who Kate Brady's attempting to quick track into the Salem police office. The SPD is in need of help with Sean Brady leaving to seek into treatment loads of cases still to be shut, including that of Susan's being taken to London. Scotland Yard's dealing with Morsel, her ex and capturer, however precisely who took her is being researched, and when that secret is addressed, the principal case is as well. EJ's Fatal Regrets is a gripping thriller where a character confronts the consequences of their past actions. Ava's hidden truth delves into the secrets that threaten to unravel a woman's life. Harris' first case explores the challenges and intrigue surrounding a novice detective's inaugural investigation. These stories promise suspense and revelation. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.